around it. Um, well, it's been canceled this year due to the coronavirus. Thank God. Um, and now people are freaking out, saying that because it's being canceled without having them show their devotion to the Hindu deity Shiva, they think that the crops are going to fail and that they're all basically going to fucking die. Well, I can so, tell you, citizens of India, uh, anyone in the Indian community who happens to be um, listening, uh, you're probably right. I am pretty <laughs> on side with that. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Why not? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, so these guys can't stick iron rods in their faces, um, and they feel shitty about it. I, I just... absolutely would, too. Now, I got. I have to preface this by saying I've never done it, and oh, my God, would I never, ever do it? Ever? I don't care what the fuck Shiva's going to do to me. I'm not ever doing that. But my hat goes I would. off to you, you guys. Um that's that's a real nifty thing you do, but you're right. Yeah, you're fucked. Your cops are screwed. You're all gonna die. Um, I would, for the record, I would try it. Fuck it. Why not? Stick a silver rod in my mouth. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's only blood. It's only temporary pain. Who cares? If in the 21st century, in a country that's actually fairly progressive like India, if that's what you believe, then yes, I totally agree with you. Yeah. If you're just that fucking, you know, it's like the guy who doesn't wash his jersey because the fucking Canucks might lose if he does. Like, no, <laughs> you're retarded. That's a stupid thing. Your crops have nothing to do with Shiva. It's the weather. And the weather <laughs> One thing... in your area is getting shitty because you pollute the fuck out of it. That's <laughs> why Shiva's you'll... mad at you. Uh, one thing you'll love about this uh, is... Part of the ritual is once all of the iron rods are sharpened, one by one, the men dive into the holy river of the Ganges <laughs> oh, yeah. to purify to purify their bodies and souls. I'm like, yeah. And they all get a free I trip don't... to Florida to swim in that <laughs> lovely water. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you know what? It's you just, just said so after... you should try to get that contract. That's probably a lot of sharpening. You know what? You're probably right. Anyone in Ooh. India who uh, has any links to this festival, please get in touch with us. Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail.com. By the way, my aunt in uh, Coquitlam, who hates the show, and I keep telling mm. her not to listen, but she does all the time, went fucking banana hammock when she heard that email address. So I'm <laughs> very happy about that. I fucking love it. <laughs> I've been hearing about that for a few days now from my dear old mom. She didn't even notice it on the business card I gave her. No? What's with that email address? Why are you surprised? I gave you it. It's on the card. I gave it to you a month ago. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't look. <laughs> I don't look at what you give me. Um, so, yeah. Old, old Aunt Judy. Not um, impressed with me again. Not, well, Not love. Not loving uh, Gwyneth Paltrow vagina. Eh? She is not a fan, <laughs> and I keep telling her, she's a dear lady. I love her very, very deeply. Um, wonderful aunt. I keep telling her, stop paying attention to things that happen on Eric and Gord. What if we're right? And she will not. And she hates them <laughs> very much. I think she's tuning in because she hates them. I have a cut. Her daughter, I know, is. Um, so, she, wait, I have a question. Does, please. All that is important and all, but does she like me? That's the important. Thing. I'm sure she does. She hasn't commented yet, but I guarantee you she's like, I don't know why Gord doesn't just get off that show and do his own show. <laughs> He's the one who can't raise show, you know. <laughs> I guarantee. Guarantee they're saying something like that. Uh, and they're funny. right. <laughs> it's, I don't agree with that at all. I just have a voice meant for radio and we had a um, we had a good little chat with uh our buddy chef salty pork about that the other day <laughs> yeah that was genius <laughs> but he said he could so you know you know what if anyone can it's him that dude's a wizard if you guys haven't checked out chef salty pork's uh podcast tips on youtube definitely check them out or just listen to his podcast um, on Apple Podcasts or wherever you already enjoy your podcast. I didn't mean to plug him, but the dude's like, when it comes to podcasting, he knows his shit. He's very, very smart, 
and very helpful, and he likes to teach. So if you need some podcasting tips, that's the guy to go to. And that's true. Um, you owe me a lot of money, to close, now, Casey. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> to close out this article, um, so the 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 men that participate in this ritual, um, they all wear they're basically just naked except for like a red cloth. Um, which is funny because like literally I'm staring at a picture. You can see the guy's underwear underneath his red cloth. So clearly they're not just wearing the red cloth, Yeah. Uh, but they have a chant and the chant is Shiva is the most powerful deity and all his devotees must participate in this worship. Um, they've been chanting. They chant this mantra for hours on end. And it's a crucial part of the process that's meant to bring them into a state of trance. They must fast on the day of the festival, but they may drink alcohol and smoke weed. Yeah, well, and they that, thought that that course. is there to reduce the risk of energy, uh, injury. Yeah, so. well, no, that's there to reduce their pain. <laughs> and I know I've been there. Um, that's why that's what us round eyes call liquid courage. We all do it. That's nothing special. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know a ton about Shiva, but from what I do know, it's a fucking bastard. Like, yeah, like, just nothing good ever comes from Shiva. It's always just nasty shit. And even if you do well in this fucking thing, you probably get E. coli or tetanus or something. It's like, this, this is not a win win for you guys. I mean, I mean they're rub- they're cleaning themselves off in the Ganges. I mean, Jesus, <laughs> how do you, <laughs> its own. how do you climb out of the Ganges with a spear through your face and then go to work and answer my phone calls about my bank account? I don't get <laughs> how you do that. Or I, like, how do you do fake Revenue Canada tax scams with fucking spears in your head? I don't get it. You guys are talented, <laughs> multi talented. <laughs> Now, one of the weird things about this, and I've seen one documentaries on this myself, one of the weird things, and this Thank is God truly one of the, the weird really part, because str- there's getting yeah. drunk and stabbing your face and for, so that <laughs> Shiva doesn't ruin your fucking cornfield. That's not weird at all. Let's, mm. let's get to the weird part. The weird part is, is there is virtually no blood. Everywhere where these guys get impaled, whether it's through their back, stomach, chest, arms, ears, face, doesn't matter. There's virtually zero blood. Are they like hot spears? Like, do they heat them up? No. Nope. Not at all. Weird. Um, it's it's a very unusual thing. Um, hey, you, you, know what that, the... you know what that is? That's the weird mm. part of that story. You were totally right. I, sh- yeah, I, I should have just trusted you. Yep. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Um so there you go. So yeah, just it's 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 a it's a crazy crazy shit. If I can, uh, if I can say anything uh, as I uh work more and more toward my goal of ult- ultimate world domination, uh stop doing shit like that. I don't care where you are from and this isn't like a razor thing. Just do- come on. It's the 21st fucking century. You don't need to impale yourself in any way for Shiva or any other fucking prick. Just don't do it. You're going to die like some horrible death anyway in your weird countries. So take as good well, care of yourself as you can. Well, it's weird because in in, uh, in 2018, uh, this reporter was here watching this and explaining everything that happened. Um, so he asked him, hey, what do you think would happen if, oh, it's called the Gajan. G-A-J-A-N is what it's called. What happens if the Gajan were to stop taking place? It's called the and Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> the good Jesus that hurt. Um, he said, it would be the end of the world. Lord Shiva's rage will destroy us all. I, yes. Probably, So but I still recommend against it. But you're still yeah. probably, like, odds are, you're right. Yeah. So, I don't know Shiva. Uh, I can't say one way or the other. So, it sounds like a prick, it, and it, I wouldn't it, worship him, really. I, that's why... I don't worship gods like that. They're fucking cunty. Is, is Shiva the eight-armed fucking elephant? I believe so. I think so. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Um, so, yeah. So, there's that. Um, just a little bit of fucking craziness um, on the world. So, that's been canceled, and Shiva's going to repent and kill everybody. Wait. Um, eight-armed, eight-armed elephant. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> um, I, I often get move. Shiva confused. When you say eight ele- elephant, uh, my ex just jumps into my head. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, moving down to the States, um, in New York and Los Angeles, there is dwindling supplies of carbon dioxide from ethanol plants. And this is freaking people out because this could end up having shortages of beer, soda, and seltzer water. Are you fucking kidding me? We're going to start bitching about the lack of air pollution now? You better fucking not. I swear to God. Apparently you didn't listen. No, this isn't about that. This is about CO2. There's no, they're they're not going to be able to, CO2, meaning... This the what the CO two cartridges to make the bubblies in the beer. Well, I get what the story is about, yeah. but come on, CO two okay. is our biggest. That's carbon dioxide. That's like the worst shit. We're gonna complain like all for the last ten years. All people have done is bitch about how much carbon dioxide there is in the world. That's yeah, because now they weren't talking about oh, beer. Now there's not enough carbon dioxide. You go fuck yourselves. Yeah. Every <laughs> single one of you fucking complainers, <laughs> go back to Whole Foods and fucking kill yourself in the parking lot with the electric car <laughs> fucking chargers. You pricks. Jesus Christ. There's not enough carbon dioxide. Oh, carbon dioxide. Oh God, I just want to punch Leonardo DiCaprio right in the fucking pillbox right now. I would be fine with that. He's he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much carbon dioxide. I want fucking bitch face this chick going, eh, we need more carbon dioxide for our beer. <laughs> How dare you? Well, this isn't right. How dare um, you? This, isn't, this isn't just affecting beer and pop. This is also affecting meat producers as well because they use CO2 in their processing, <laughs> packaging, and preservation and shipment. Um, as it stands, as of April 7th, um, CO2 production has fallen 20% and could be down an additional by 50% by now, by mid April. Wait, and if they didn't get any relief. What mm-hmm. don't, don't the meat, isn't it cow farts all CO2 and methane and shit? Can't they just box up some cow farts? Well, that's just methane. That's not carbon dioxide. That's just methane. Oh, I don't know. There's gotta be some in there. But and, maybe and, you know China's sure. China's getting right back into the swing of things, pretty much. So there'll be plenty of pollution for you guys to capture and make your shitty American beer with. Yeah. What about it's yeah. wildfire season? That produces a shit. You must be able to get dioxide out of fucking carbon from all the fires. I I think the problem is is they've shut companies down during this. I think that's what this is all about well, because the companies that are producing all this, they've shut them down. You know, I have, I, I, I texted you the other night that the revolt is beginning. Um, all the restaurants around my workplace are opening on Monday. Cause they're like, fuck it. They said 18 months. We can't do that. So we're mm-hmm. just opening. Um, so these guys, they, they better get to work. Start burning some shit and capture the carbon dioxide. <laughs> Like, solve a now, problem, guys. It's not that hard. You, fucking your, all your cars produce it. Get, you point your point your fucking exhaust pipes into your workplace and fucking gun it. Uh, solving problems. Yeah. That's what I do. I solve, solve problems, problems and then I get, I get shit for it. Fuck you then. Solve your own fucking problem. <laughs> That's what happens, man. No good deed goes unpunished, my friend. You just got to deal with that. You just wait till I run the country, goddammit. That's going to change real fast. <laughs> um, moving over to Canada. Um, oh, good. I'm, um, Let me guess. The federal Trudeau government... Trudeau didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> no, the federal <laughs> government is said that they will provide $306 million in funding to help small and medium-sized indigenous businesses suffering from the economic effects of the COVID. Um, uh, you, but small and medium-sized um, indigenous businesses don't make any fucking money to begin with. How much money can they be losing? Well, that's just it. Why do you think it's only $306 million for all of them across the entire nation? Yeah. You, you so sell a very three small- pairs of mucklucks a year. You're not losing any money right now. Don't lie. They're saying that it is expected to help 6,000 businesses. 
so that's like what a bunch of cigarette stores and 